uh, Mr. Kobach, because we are sitting around the table looking at uh, how close these races are in Florida, in North Carolina, in Ohio. Uh, your state of Kansas has already been called for Donald Trump, but what are you thinking as you see these other states uh, come in uh, close? Uh, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic. You know, one thing I look at is uh, how Trump is doing compared to how Romney did against Obama uh, four years ago. So, for example, look at Florida. Right now it shows Trump up by about, last time I checked, 140,000 votes. Romney lost by 70,000 votes. So, you know, if that margin holds, that shows he's doing significantly better. The other thing that's notable to me is the uh, exit polling seems to be showing that late deciding voters are breaking toward Trump significantly. So, and, and look at Pennsylvania. You guys were just talking about it. Uh, you know, a month ago, everybody thought Pennsylvania was over. Uh, Hillary had it by double digits. Now it's uh, too close to call. So all of those things together suggest to me that uh, Trump has a, a path to victory tonight if things hold. Chris Kobach, is there something that you saw in the voters in your state that you think resonates with the rest of the country and what's propelling Donald Trump to keep this race this close? A couple of things. One is that uh, I think charisma matters no matter whether you're talking about a conservative or a liberal, a, a populist or uh, someone in the establishment. He has that charisma and some people may dislike him, others may really like him, but I think that has helped him a lot all through the race, both in the primary and in the general cycle. And then, uh, you know, the outsider, it's time for a change, uh, as Mr. Greenfield was mentioning earlier. Uh, that's a powerful message, too. Um, and then there's one other thing, and that is in the deeply conservative parts of the country, uh, you have a lot of voters who are, and, and conservative parts of places like Pennsylvania, voters who really think there's the, that the Constitution is on the brink and that the country is sliding uh, toward a, a state it can never recover from. Those voters, I think, are turning out in higher numbers than were expected, and they would have turned out probably for any Republican candidate. But Trump is benefiting from those voters as well. So you put all those together, and I think a lot of the polls are showing that they were off the mark. Chris Kobach, let me ask you bluntly about the question of race. Um, we've talked about it tonight. It's been the subject of a lot of reporting, Donald Trump's appeal. He's clearly doing well with white voters, uh, having a, a harder time with minorities, with African Americans, with Latino vote. Of course, we're still waiting to see what the final results are. How do you think about that um, as, as an issue for your party, uh, what it says about whether Donald Trump wins or loses this year? Well, you know, it's interesting uh, looking not just at this election, but maybe the last five or six presidential elections, uh, the Democratic Party has really solidified its hold on certain non-white racial groups, you know, expressly bidding to those groups saying, you know, we are, we the Democrat Party are um, protecting your entity as a racial group. The Republican Party has never really made appeals like that. You know, the, it's always made sort of broad appeals to the general population. These are principles you should uh, identify with. And I think we're seeing over time that the Democrats have successfully uh, locked in a large number of people in some of those minority racial groups. So I don't think it's a Trump thing. I think it's a Republican Democrat thing. And it's been going on for quite some time now. So are you saying Democrats have made, have been, what, hypocritical, have been pandering? I mean, what are you saying the Democrats have done? Well, no, not, not hypocritical, but the, it's, it's more of a pandering. It's more of a, you know, you should vote for us because of your racial group and because we, the Democrat Party, will do a better job of protecting your interests defined not as an American, but your interests defined as a member of this racial group. And they've been very successful at that. Now, I think we Republicans often hope that, well, our, our general message to the broad public will appeal and it will overcome that very specific message that the Democrats have delivered. But uh, in election after election, that hasn't happened. All right. Chris Kobach, uh, Secretary of State uh, for Kansas, we thank you very much for talking with us.